Good morning. I'm Casey reporting for Casey Collections in Buchanan, Virginia. It's a good Sunday morning to you. We are open special hours. So on two extra shopping days this week, we're open today, Sunday, December 4th, 9 until 5, and Monday, December 5th, 9 until 5. You know, our normal hours are Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 9 until 5, but we have been trying our very best to extend our hours for quite a few months now. So we will have a five-day run this week. That'll conclude tomorrow on Monday, December 5th. We'll close for a couple days, and then we'll go through another five-day run, 9 to 5. And after that, hey, at this point, that's all I can say grace over after two truckloads of furniture this week and getting them settled. But I'll be back to you with more information in the coming weeks about our hours as we get closer to Christmas and certainly New Year's. And I hope everyone is doing well this morning. So it's the crack of dawn. Up with the chickens again, trying to put light con items together to reset our Christmas items so that you can possibly look at certain characteristics of items together. If you're into the cardinal items, they're down that way. A smorgasbord of different fancy snowman and candy cane canisters still remain this way. One of my favorite collections is this plaid velvet collection with the, the snow ladies, the raggedy Ann, the little fellow that's been added, and of course, the angel with the star. The nice thing about the dangle legs is you can just fold their legs under them if you want them to sit a different way. And I need to straighten her dress out, but just make her be a sitter, if you will, just folding the legs back under, and that gives you a totally different look. Or if you want to have multiples, that's certainly a good way to do it. Miscellaneous is also open today. In other words, in Fairfield, Virginia, just 35 minutes north. My mother and I own that store together. It's right off of I-81 exit 200. She's doing a run of special hours as well. Her regular hours at Miscellaneous are Thursday through Sunday, 10 until 5. She's adding the next two Mondays on as well. So, just in case you need some extra shopping days, we are uh, propping ourselves up, so to speak, and trying to do the best we can to be open because we certainly appreciate the business, but this is the time of year where everyone has more than they can get done, so we're trying to do our part to be here for you because you're always here for us. As we take a look over here, you can see some other Christmas items all throughout. It is moving, I'll tell you that. Our ornaments, December is a big stocking stuffer month for retail, so lots of ornaments going out the door. We're getting a little low there. Great package toppers as well. We Right now, we are still in assortment on the 50-count um, teeny bulb lights. They did blow out again yesterday. I just put them out. There were many things that went out, and we are in fair assortment on the 100-count lights. So if you need those little teeny bulbs, you know, we have them. If you need the twinkle lights, we still have those, or of course the silicone bulbs or the larger bulbs, we have a few of those left. Back in stock, as promised, on all things plate stand. This was what I could push out yesterday. We do have more of the large and the small metal ones. So if those are something you're looking for, I can go grab another box and certainly shove those out so that you can see those. As far as candle sticks are concerned, I just stuck a couple of these here, reset an end cap to make it a pet end cap so you can see the cute little red pillar candles. If you're looking for the small ones, it looks like we have three of the red ones left and one of the gray, and that's what that looks like. As far as the Mirage Red, if that's something you are working on a centerpiece for your table, you can see that selection is dwindling, as well as the 5 and 7 and 9 inch Mirages. They're all out. So this is what we have. And, you know, when you're buying or they're buying two and three at a time, sometimes that's very hard to predict. And I always talk about that, and I don't mean to be a broken record, but it just sim simply seems like it definitely is much harder to forecast than it was in the past, or I'm just getting worse at it. Either of those are certainly possible. As we take a look at some of the light-up jars, a few that are left that were in the last wave of Christmas that came in, 
You can see the cardinals here on the branches of the tree with the holly. They co do come with battery-operated lights that are on a timer. The chickadee there with the Firefox um, shelf sitters, you can see as well. We brighten up the front, adding a little red back to it again. And then over here, the cardinal jar, I think we're down to one of those. So looking for fill in the blank, tables, we still have them. Islands, we still have them. Stocking stuffers, we're good there. Getting low on beeswax, I'll try to get um, a shipment you know, in this week. Great way to save time and money in the cleaning process. It's a natural product. It doesn't build up on your furniture. What more can I say? Not only wood, but leather, granite, stainless steel, shower doors, car windshields, and so much more. It does everything, as I like to say, except walk the dog. So it's a great product. It sounds kind of weird when I say it's a great Christmas gift. I don't mean that you hand someone a thing of beeswax and say, oh, yeah, great, that's all over. But if you think about it for a moment, if you introduce someone to a product that they can clean a lot of surfaces in their house with, that's going to save them time and money. It's like giving the gift that keeps on giving. So what better can you do for a person than give them something, introduce them to a product that'll save them time and money, and also replace a lot of the harsh chemical cleaners, and this one being all natural. So just throwing that out there, that's what we saw a lot yesterday, I believe. A lot of it was going out in multiples as we talked about that through the register about a great thing just to introduce a person to that may not have seen it in the past. Of course, with the beeswax, the key here is don't get it on your flooring. And also, um, paper towels we found are the best thing to use. I think that it soaks up less product. And in addition to that, if you're using it on the glass surfaces such as windows and shower doors and mirrors, then it doesn't smear it. So do be mindful that we recommend paper towels to use. Certainly a cotton cloth would be something that would be appropriate as well. Microfiber certainly works on furniture, but as far as the beeswax, and again, that's what we're talking about, the microfiber really um, works fine on the wood and even the leather, but I really feel like it soaks up more of the product. So if the goal is to save time and money, then we also have to consider, you know, using a, a, an application tool that helps with that. The other thing I think with beeswax that's incredibly important is to realize that you don't have to use it every time that you're cleaning fill in the blank, like your furniture, for example. Um, you don't have to use it every single time that you're cleaning your wood. In other words, in between cleanings, you can just use a damp cloth and um, a dry cloth and come right behind it. So knowing that you don't have to grab it every time you want to, quote, dust, quote, is very important. Also with beeswax, it doesn't attract dust. So your traditional big box store furniture polishes, it's a gimmick. They were designed to attract dust. And if you think about that for a moment, every time you dust with some of that big box store stuff that we all thought when we were growing up, it was the thing to use. You know, if we had this certain, um, you know, five letter can of whatever that I'm not going to name, we thought we were using our high end furniture polish and we felt all good about it. But every time you used it, you know, you came back along and it's like, oh my goodness, I just dusted and it's dusty again. Well, okay, we all fell into that trap. One, of smelling the chemicals. Two, of continuing to buy more product because, gosh, our house is just so dirty. Well, you know, maybe it is dirty, you know, and I can't claim that this is the cleanest place in the world. We do try our very best, but there's a lot of surfaces to cover but beeswax doesn't attract the dust. So that's a long-winded version, but I, I felt led to share that this morning because I do think it's something incredible to consider, not only for your own use, but for folks, you know, after you use it, tell them about it. You know, whether they buy it here, whether they order it somewhere else, you know, I'm just passionate about the product and the fact that it is natural. It does save time and money. And I don't know about you, but it's almost impossible, or at least in my life, to have both time 
and money. Because in the days where I had the time, you know, growing up, there, you know, there wasn't an abundance of money. And not that there's an abundance of money of now, but certainly, because the bills are there too, but certainly I don't have the time. So I think a lot of folks fall into that. It's hard to have both. And we dream of the days where we do. And if you're there, then hats off because you've worked really hard to get there. So lots about beeswax, feel, feeling led to tell you. You can see the furniture is still, a lot of it is still here around pub table left yesterday. That was right in this zone. It was Black Michael's Cherry. We also have a corner cabinet in the back that's sold that I certainly want you to see before it's gone. We are now down to one TV stand. Um, there was a Black Michael's Cherry four-door here yesterday. We can always reorder, but one TV stand and the 60-inch antique white with a Kona top. Some clothes out still hanging around over here. Don't forget the flag ladders. We wanted to put those out in maybe a predominant spot in case that was something that you wanted for yourself, or maybe it would be the perfect gift for someone else. In my world, in my head, patriotic is always in style. As we go down the wall here, you can certainly see some of the truck prints and more of the lathe prints. And don't forget about all kinds of different flags, whether it's cats and dogs. And while I was on a rant about beeswax, so passionate about it, I did show you a new cat and dog displayer that's on the end cap so that we don't forget, you know, about our furry friends this season. Uh, certainly, you're not going to buy your cat a plate, but you might buy someone that has a cat that is a huge cat lover a plate. But anyway, I always have to make a mental note. Don't forget the furry friend. Don't forget the bone, don't forget this to put in the stocking. So anyway, just not used to having to think like that. Bedroom sets, we're still in good assortment. We've talked through those the last couple of days. Three piece sets and Black Michael's Cherry. Queen size comes with a bed, a chest of drawers, and a nightstand. Two of those sets. A four piece set, Michael's Cherry Antique White and Queen. Comes with a six drawer dresser that's hidden back there in the back a chest of drawers, and a nightstand that'll be in in the coming weeks. You can also see we're still hanging on to wildlife prints. I can't believe that they are still here. Our landing strip is kind of coming and going. It's zigzagged. We're going to be working on this. But if you're looking to get organized and get some things tucked away, I mean, we can ha never have too many places to organize. Whether it's a pie safe that's a tall one or a small one, or perhaps a pie safe that gives you that deep storage and has a drawer at the bottom. We can't have too many junk drawers, that's for sure. Or a two-door cabinet or bookcases. We are in much better assortment on all of that after um, two trips to PA this week and two truckloads full of stock furniture. Over here, I've just makeshift display just to get us through the morning here. Some of the truck theme, a little bit of animal stuff along the way, but we'll fluff that up. If you missed it earlier, I did show the pet display here. I do want to point out we are down to two dog toy boxes. They were a hot commodity yesterday. The dog bone rugs, I think we've killed those, so to speak, because of where we've had them. So we're putting them back on the end cap to certainly make them easier to see. They're in two sizes, and they're also in the dog tins at the bottom. Some indoor-outdoor rugs about the cats and the dogs. And then notice the pillows here at the back. They're just... Um, shrunk, so to speak. The air's been pulled out of them to make them easier for shipping. Reserved for the cat, stay at your own risk. Reserved for the dog, sit at your own risk. And of course, my dog is my dog bell. An item we got back in yesterday that we've been out of for a while and we sold through except two of them, these little cat figures. So you can see there just some lovely little pick-me-up gifts for the cat lovers in the house. Not a lot different down through here. If you have been watching the past couple of days, you know, night lights I pointed out were a great commodity. We're in good assortment on our smaller economy accent tables, whether they're box tables, round tables, curved leg tables, half round tables, small and large bookcases, a few pie safes, some over the toilet cabinets. 
As far as trash cans, we're getting very low again. There were some on the main floor. We've got a couple of pet feeder stations and a couple there at the end. We also have this one um, going through the corridor here to the back rooms. It is a Sealy with the Copper Stars um, in the section there. As we work back here, we're going to be resetting this room in the coming weeks. Um, as many of you may be thinking about resetting your window treatments once you take down the Christmas items and you, you know, clean the windows and clean the floors and decide that you want to make some changes. Um, it's not uncommon that panels, long curtains would go up, you know, in the winter time and lighten up with um, less panels, more uh, swags or valances as we move through the other periods of the year. So we're going to be resetting. I placed some orders um, yesterday in my spare time. That's kind of a joke. So sat down for a few minutes and went boom, 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 boom. Let me get some things in here. But place some orders for some swags to come in. We'll be showing you not only Abilene Star, that's a customer favorite, um, not swags, I meant panels. We'll also be bringing in Farmhouse Berry, which is also one of your customer favorites. We'll be showing that also in panels. We'll be looking probably down here at this one, which is more of a neutral color. It's one that's the Simple Flax in natural right here. And we already have a couple sets of the 63 inch panels down here. And we'll show things in 63 inch panels. And of course we can order others. Taking it around just a little bit, you can see the trash bins I think have moved a bit over the toll or yeah, over the toilets. There's one of those left. And we also have um, still an assortment, the toilet paper holders. A hot item yesterday was all the 10 signs. So I don't know if mentioning in the live or whether it was just going to happen anyway, but great pick me up gifts, whether you've got the motorcycle lovers or the ammo, you know, gun type items that you'd like to get or Ford trucks or Texaco. There's a great assortment on this side and on that side. We, we are running low. So We'll be placing an order this week. You say, low, there's stacks. Yeah, there are stacks, but I know that we are in need of another order. Don't forget about the dishcloths that are at $1.50. I mean, they're amazing. If you've not tried them, you're really missing out. Whenever you need a dishcloth, reach for a Park Designs dishcloth because they are incredible. Don't forget, as the coming weeks come and go, we prepare so long and so hard um, for Christmas Day. And that period of time is not easy for everyone. That's definitely for sure. So we prepare for all of that. And it's amazing how quickly it's just over. And so when it's over, there can be this huge relief or it can be a big letdown about how empty or you take things down and you don't know what to put back up. So one thing that kind of helps with that letdown is you start thinking about you know, what do you, what do you want to do? What do you want to put up on this window? Do I want to change out a rug when I'm going to be cleaning up all the glitter that's everywhere in my house anyway? So certainly if you start thinking about those items, that kind of helps when that void come or goodness forbid, I'm not a slow, snow lover, so don't put me down for that for sure. I mean, and don't list me as one. But if the snow comes and gets us and we're closed before you can get in to see us, well, you've gotten a few things picked up or at least made your list for what you want to be able to change out. Or perhaps if you get gift cards, Visa or MasterCard gift cards for Christmas, then you may earmark those for something that you want to add on. So that's a long-winded version with the beeswax rant about all of the things that we have and really just alive to show you what's going on in store in case a tour helps to see what's here. Remember, you can always call us 540-254-1489. Um, we, we will answer as we are able. We will return the calls if we miss them. You know, the squeaky wheel gets the grease as the expression goes that I remember hearing growing up. So call back. If you've left the message and we haven't called you, call back. I mean, we're delighted. So, you know, we're doing the best we can to answer, but just call us back if that's the case. Also, if you're looking for fill in the blank, we had people looking for TV stands yesterday. They wanted to get an idea 
of what we had before I think they made the trip. So we were able to send them over some pictures, um, and it was with great delight that they were able to get one of those. So we're glad to help in any way like that we can. If you want to email us at KC Collections Marketing, again, that's KC Collections marketing at gmail.com. We're certainly happy to respond as we're able that way as well. Remember, Miscellaneous does have extended hours, so she is always open on Sundays, 10 until 5. That's my mother, but she has extended her hours for the next two Mondays, so we'd love if you could get up there and, and see Miscellaneous as well. For now, though, it's time to get ready for getting the doors open, and hopefully we'll see some of you all. But for now, enjoy the journey. Have a cup of coffee if you're sitting at home in your pajamas for me. Just enjoy the day. We hope we'll see you when it's convenient for you to get here. If there's anything we can do to assist until you're able to come see us, just let us know. We're always delighted to try to help. For now, though, I'm KC, and that's a wrap. Let's live our best life today. We don't know what tomorrow brings, but we do know it can all change in a blink of an eye.